Hey guys, it's Ivan Bruce coming to you again this week for Communication 103. And if I can get in um, Professor Gass's good graces, this will be the last time I'll be coming to you for Communication 103. I'm going to give you my entertainment speech tonight. Um, I want to bring my audience in. Um, come on in, audience. My audience is my daughter, Olivia. She's been here every speech. This is my daughter, Ellen, who just actually got back from Europe. And my wife, Amy, who has been here for every speech. You see my son, um, Alex, and my son, Roman, in other speeches. Alex is actually at football camp at UC right now. He plays football for UC. So, getting to what I'm going to talk to you about. I want to talk to you a little bit about being the 49-year-old father of a 4-year-old. I um, have eight children. We've been blessed with eight children. The oldest is 29 today, and the youngest is four. The youngest is red hair and blue-eyed, and... Many times I said I did, I was not ready to stop being the father of little ones. And God heard me, and God said ha, and belly laughed, and gave us our little red hair, blue eyed bundle of joy. Um, statistics tell you 2% of the world is red hair and blue eyed. That's because the world couldn't take more than 2% of them. Um, if you have a red hair, blue eyed child, you might as well cross a Clinton because you're going to die and it's going to look like a suicide because they're probably going to kill you. Or they're going to want you want to do it to yourself, one or the other. Um, all seriousness, though, um, he, this child has pushed me more than any child ever has. Um, I, like I said, he is the eighth child. I've never taken a toilet off the floor because of stuff that's been flushed down the toilet. In the last three, in the last year, I've taken the toilet off the floor three separate times. Any given day, our toilet might not even flush a piece of toilet paper, but somehow my little four-year-old bundle of joy got it to flush these Nike gym shorts. Can you imagine that? Uh, another time, not too long after that, I came home, same thing, took the toilet off the floor and he had flushed a banana. Oh, had to get the gloves for that one because didn't know what this looked like um, when I was pulling it out. Y'all pray for me. Um, you'll hear colorful, colorful comments coming from him sometimes. And we cannot wait. He starts preschool next week. Cannot wait to, we're putting the over under how many days it takes for us to get the first call from the preschool teacher. Um, he is all boy. He is fearless. That is the problem. He is absolutely fearless. We have child proof this house. If the adults try to get out, we can't get out. If the house catches fire, we are in trouble. We can't get the door open because of the kid proof lock on the door. We can't get drawers open because we've kid-proofed everything. I guess we should have kid-proofed the toilet, but guess what? We didn't. Um, red hair and blue eyes. Wow. What can you say about that? All the metaphors that you've heard about red hair is true. He's got a temper. He's hard-headed. He's strong-willed. Um, I don't guess hard-headed is a good, positive way to say it. He's headstrong is a good, positive way to say that. He will... You'll look at him and say, don't throw that, and he'll look you dead in the eye and throw whatever it is in his hand. Y'all pray for me. Um, standing outside under the deck the other day, beautiful day, sunshine, and all of a sudden I feel water. I look up, hey, it's raining. No, it's my four-year-old peeing off the deck. Because to a little boy, the outdoors is your bathroom. Um, Y'all pray for me. I need it. Um, he will say anything. Be careful. He hears anything. He says anything. Just the other day, we're walking by the bedroom. Him and the 10-year-old are playing a video game. The 10-year-old says something, and you hear the little 4-year-old say, You're damn right. Oh, the horrors. Got me on Sunday morning, trying to get ready for church. IJ, put your shoes on. IJ, put your shoes on. IJ, put your shoes on. Finally, after about the 100th time, I'm cussing. Lord knows I'm saved. I'm going to church, and he's going to cost me going to, going to heaven because he won't listen. Y'all pray for him. Um, he will say anything. Red hair and blue eyes, it's a heck of a combination. In all seriousness, though, um, I know I've been trying to make a little bit of light of, of what he has done, um, but he has been a blessing from God, and all this has been, all this has been um, just in good fun. Thank you, guys. Speech has been a wonderful class. You guys have a good evening.